know who it is, but I'm not telling. Ha, huh? ha. Huh. That's it? That wasn't a clue. What's that mean? Hi, I just heard. It's not Bob. It's not... Who the hell are you, the operator? the pretty witch here welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be playing with electronic dream phone and all my fake boyfriends to help me find my secret admirer why because that's what women in their 30s have to resort to these days you were a young girl in the 90s you probably did play this game it was exciting and thrilling and introduced you to the world of dating if you're a millennial you probably have no idea what i'm talking about what game this is and you must think i'm absolutely nuts Basically, the game includes 24 boyfriend candidates, but only one of them has a crush on you. You know, instead of just telling me outright, he has to make me go and play this silly game to find out his mystery identity. So basically, you pick a boy card from the deck and you dial his phone number that is on the card and he will give you clues about your secret admirer. Eventually, you will figure out who your secret admirer is and then the game is over. Voila, now I have a fake boyfriend. So before we go ahead and find my Milton Bradley crush, consider hitting that subscribe button. My channel is all about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. I discuss hot topics, I give beauty and fashion advice, I review products, and I even resort to silly things like finding an imaginary boyfriend. So if that interests you, consider becoming part of my YouTube family and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to hit the bell symbol next to that button, that way you get notified on any of my latest videos. So if you guys want to follow along at home and help me figure out who my secret admirer is, this is what the actual game board looks like. So this is going to help you narrow down who your secret admirer is based on the clues that are given to you. And this is your clue sheet which you use to scratch off boys' names and clues. It comes on an official dream phone clipboard. Now let's introduce you to the 24 cool guy candidates. Well. At least it's what Milton Bradley thought was ideal cool guys. This is my idea of a cool 90s guy. Now for all you millennials out there, that's Zach Morris from Saved by the Bell. All right, let's start things off with Tyler. Tyler looks like he would have been the star football jock. You know, someone who probably would have got a full scholarship to some ritzy school, but then he probably got an injury and you know dropped out of school and things just went downhill for him. He probably now ends up sitting on the couch on football Sundays with his beer belly, eating peanuts and wieners. Next we have Scott. Now this guy's got the looks. He was probably Mr. Popular, you know, the type of guy that you never got a chance with, but he probably grew up to become someone like Brad Pitt. And here comes Steve. Steve looks like, you know, that hipster stoner that was always cutting class to hang out in the smoke hole. Now he probably grew up and owns his own vape pen store. Prime example of why not to skip class, kids. Next up, we have Tony. Now, Tony to me looks like a skateboarder, kind of artsy kid. He probably grew up inventing some sort of useless technology from his basement, and now he's making millions. And now we have Carlos. Carlos looks like he's old enough to have been in grade 12 for the last three years. He kind of looks like a surfer dude that probably now lives on the beach in a tent. And now we have Gary. Gary, with that smug little look, kind of looks like he might have been the class clown, but I bet today he's the butt of all jokes. Oh, Paul. Now, he looks like he would have been the conceited guy who thought he was like God's gift to women, but today he's probably the janitor at the local strip club. Mike, the weirdo that you always caught staring at you in class. Today he probably still lives at home with his parents and has a rare collection of comic books. Now we have Spencer. Spencer looks like he would have been the nice popular guy. So the guy who has the looks and the brains. He probably grew up to have a very successful job and is a family man with a minivan, four kids and two dogs. Mark, sophisticated Mark. Looks like he might have been popular, but probably now works at Old Navy. John, whoa John, look at that hair. Hmm, looks like he kind of might have been the annoying like pest. He probably took his passion for style and whatnot and opened a hair salon or something. And now we have Bob and Dan. Well, the rumors were probably true about these two. And now we have Dale. Dale looks like he would have been the class valedictorian, probably grew up as like a self-help guru and is on the New York Times bestselling list. And now we have Alan. Alan looks like the guy that was always willing to do your homework. His slogan is, the nerd life chose me. He's willing to turn your software into hardware. 
And now we have George. George looks like he would have been the popular jerk. Uh, he's probably still single today and taking his dates out to Taco Bell and making them pay. And now we have James. James looks like he might have been the drama nerd. He has an award-winning smile, so today he's probably winning lots of Emmys. And now we have Wayne. Wayne looks like another football jock, but today he's probably a trainer at your local gym. And now we have Phil. Phil looks like the creepy nerd. Uh, today he's probably still hanging with his friends and playing on Xbox Live. Now we have Jamal. Jamal's worst flaw is that he is just too awesome. Today he just doesn't have a job. He has a career. And now we have Jason, the nerd that was called Four Eyes. Today he's probably earning millions making designer shades for all his bullies. Now we have Bruce, the kid who probably got dropped off at school every day by his mom. His mom should have got a fine for littering. He probably still goes home today with his laundry for his mom to clean. Now we have Dave. Dave looks like the teacher's pet who grew up to be the teacher, but he probably has a secret bottle of liquor somewhere in his desk. And now we have Matt, the hot popular mimbo. Today he spent all of his life savings on plastic surgery to keep his good looks. You can find him on episode one of Botched. All right, let's go ahead and play the game and see if we can find my secret admirer out of all those lovely candidates. I'm going to press the button to start a new game and I'm going to give Jason a call. Five, 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 seven, four, one, one. Hello? You'll eat almost anything. The last part of the clue kind of faded out there. I don't know if there's a glitch with the phone, but it said he'll eat everything except ice cream. I'm going to hit the redial button and see if we can hear it again. Hello? You again? He'll eat almost anything. I don't know why it's fading on the clue. Whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and check off that I've called Jason and cross off any candidates who don't like ice cream. So based on the clue that was given that he likes to eat anything, so far I'm thinking he's maybe one of these characters that are hanging out at the snack shop. Now we're going to call Hunky Scott for another clue. Nice try, but it's not me. That's it. So we know it's not Scott. All right, I'm giving Matt a call now. Five, 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 seven, five, five, seven. Hello. Hi. He looks cool in whatever he wears. Okay, so it said he looks cool in whatever he wears, but he's not wearing a jacket. So now I just go through the game board and see which characters are wearing a jacket and then I can scratch them off the list. All right, for the next clue, I'm going to call Tony. Five, 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 two, four, four, two. Hello? You'll eat almost anything. So it said he'll eat almost anything except cookies. So on the game board, uh, various uh, characters are holding food in their hand, so I just check for whoever has a cookie in their hand, and I scratch that person off. All right, let's call Carlos now. Five, 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 six, 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 eight. Hello. I know who it is, but I'm not telling. Ha, ha. That's it? That wasn't a clue. Now, who the hell are you, the operator? All right, I'm calling Conceited Paul. Hello? He'll eat almost anything. So he'll eat almost anything except candy. Well, I'm gonna call Spencer now. most sports so he likes most sports except skateboarding so now i'm just gonna go on to the board and see who has a skateboard and eliminate them good kids i don't want a skateboarder anyways on to gary for a clue hello he likes most 
most sports. Okay, so he likes most sports, but not basketball. You bitch. Hi, I just heard. It's not George. So not George, no basketball. Oh my god, this is way too much work for a boy. Whew. All right, I'm getting tired. I'm just going to start guessing. Let's take a guess that it's Jason. Nice try, but it's not me. Thank God. Oh, let's try Gary. You're right. I really like you. Oh, I don't know if I like you. All right, so there you have it. It turns out that Gary is my secret admirer. I'll pass. Well, this has been fun and an absolutely pointless day because guess what? I'm still single. So the game would probably be a lot more fun if I was playing with more people, so I'll probably have to have some girlfriends over for a wine and slumber party night. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and at least had somewhat of a good laugh and don't think I'm too pathetic after watching this video. It was fun. It brought back some childhood memories and nostalgia. Uh, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, check out any of my latest videos and feel free to follow me on social media. I'll put all the links down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.